So now what we need to do is that we need to insert appointments in the appointments table because once the user clicks on show appointments of one of these clinics or departments, we need to show all of the appointments that this specific clinic or department has. So here I have created these SQL um, uh, uh, commands or code that's going to insert uh, a few um, appointments uh, to each of these to each of these uh, departments. So for example here the first one we have here insert into appointments and then the department name is obviously eyes eyes and then here the the uh, department ID is one because if you go if you go to the departments if you click on departments you will find that eyes eyes has an ID of one ears has an ID of two psychiatry has an ID of three bone has an ID of four etc so this is very very important the ID is very very important let me go back to the appointments and let me click on SQL and then let me paste the code one more time so the code this is the code the appointments and then the appointment date the appointment date is the date uh, um, that you want for this appointment to take place so for example here this year and then month and then uh, day and then the the hour here this is a 24 hour format so it's 12 here it should be 12 in the afternoon so and then the the last one is taken taken should always be zero because you are the admin of this uh, system and you should always whenever you insert a new appointment it must be zero because users if you say that this if you assign this to if you change this to one it means that somebody has um, registered or uh, made an appointment has booked this appointment so you need to keep always the, to always to keep this zero unless somebody uh, books this appointment so I'm gonna provide this code for you don't worry this code so that you insert uh, the, the appointments quickly you can by the way you can click on if you don't want to use SQL you can use the insert here if you click on insert you will be able to insert the the appointments like this you can here insert the ID for example uh, the ID should be by the way the ID should be automatic so the ID will be added automatically don't insert the ID just leave it empty the department name should be one of these departments uh, one of these departments for example eyes and then the department ID must match one of these IDs so it must be one two three or whatever ID you have you need to check the ID from the departments uh, table and then we have the, the the appointment date you need to select the date from here so you have this in p3 my admin you can select an accurate date and an accurate time so be careful once you when you select the date because you don't want uh, to select a wrong date so you can select any date you want any year you want any time and you can play around with the time here you can select the time and it's a 24 hour format so you need here to pay attention to this so for example here 22 it means 10 in the after in the uh, evening and then we have taken taken should always be zero whenever you insert taken should always be zero created ad and for and updated ad should be uh, left empty just leave them empty and uh, this is how you can insert once you are done just click on go and this is going to insert an appointment but I'm going to be I prefer using SQL because it's much faster so I'm going to use SQL and then I'm going to click on go and this is going to insert all of these and if you click on appointments you should have so many appointments as you can see for for the eyes we have one two three for for the ears we have one two three for the psychiatry we have one two three of course you can insert more appointments to different departments but for now I'm just gonna keep it like this and as you can see the taken should always be zero and the time you can change the time and uh, the ID is gonna be automatic so the ID should be left uh, empty because it's gonna be created by the by p3 my admin by the database 